Hi everyone, we're going to find the first term and the common difference of each arithmetic sequence. Then we're going to give a recursive formula and a formula for the nth term. So basically we have a long list of numbers whereby the 8th term is 8 and the 20th term is 44. So what we're going to do is write, well, the 8th term, so a sub 8 is a plus n which is 8. Let me write the formula. We're using a sub n equals a sub 1. I'm just going to put a. Let that be my first term. n minus 1 times d. So we have 8 minus 1 times d. And we know that that's going to equal 8. So my 8th term equals 8. Alright? Now, my other one, my 20th term is a plus 20 minus 1 times d, and that equals 44. You know, so basically what we have is we have a plus 19d equals 44, and the other one we had is a plus 7d, I just rewrote these to make it a little easier, equals 8. Now I'm going to use the process of elimination because we have a system of linear equations and I'm going to eliminate my A and that's going to give me 12D equals 36 so D equals 3. Now to solve for A because I have to find my A and my D I'm going to write A plus um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one it looks better 7 times 3 equals 8, so A equals 8 minus 21, so A is negative 13. So I found my A and my D, that was the first part. Now we have to write a recursive formula, and the recursive formula is going to be um, A sub N, which is our current term, is our previous term, so a sub n means current term, a sub n minus 1 equals your previous term plus your common difference. So that's going to be a sub n equals a sub n minus 1. My common difference is 3. That's your recursive formula. Is that easy? Okay, because it's just adding 3 to each number. Now our nth term is going to, we're going to use a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And I'm just going to plug in my a and d. So that's a sub n equals negative 13 plus n minus 1 times d. And my d is 3. The only thing is I have to clean this up. So this is going to be a sub n equals negative 13 plus 3n minus 3. So that's going to end up being um, a sub n equals 3n minus 16. Okay, so everything I have boxed is what we were supposed to do. Okay, and the next ones are going to go a little faster. So the next one we have is the ninth term is uh, negative 5. And our 15th term is 31. And so basically, that's going to be a sub 9 equals a plus 9 minus 1 times d. And that's all going to equal negative 5. And a sub 15 our 15th term, I didn't write this very good, I should have put term there, a sub 1 plus 15 minus 1 times d, and that equals 31. So basically we have um, a plus 14d equals 31, 
And I also have a plus 8d equals negative 5. Now I'm going to use elimination and sub get rid of the a's. So I'm going to subtract. I'll get 6d equals 36 because this is going to be 31 minus a negative uh, 5. 31 minus a negative 5. So d is 6, which is what we wanted. Uh, we got our D, and to find A, we just plug it back in. I'm going to go and plug it back into this one. So we have A plus 8 times 6 is uh, 48 equals negative 5. So subtract 48 from both sides and get negative 55. So I found my A and my D. The next thing I have to do is write my recursive formula. And we're just going to use the standard form. My current term is my previous term plus your common difference. So my current term is my previous term. And my common difference was, what, 6 plus 6. So I got my recursive formula. And now I'm going to write a formula for the nth term. So a sub n equals a plus n minus 1 times d. And I'm just going to plug in my 6 and my negative 55. So a sub n equals negative 55 times n minus 1. Whoops, not times, it's plus. Plus n minus 1 times 6. So a sub n equals negative 55 plus 6n minus 6. So a sub n equals 6n minus uh, 59. Why did I just say 59? So this was 353. Yeah, this is supposed to be 53. Did y'all catch that? So this is 53. Sorry about that. So it's 53, 53, so it's going to be minus 59. And that is the four things you need to do. And the next one we have is the 15th term is 0. And the 40th term is negative 50. So we have a sub 15 equals uh, a plus 15 minus 1 times d. Which is uh, 0, I mean uh, d. And this one is going to be a sub 40 equals... Uh, a plus 40 minus 1 times d. <clears throat> now a sub 15 is 0, a sub 40 is negative 50, so I'm going to write this out as uh, negative 50 equals a plus 39d and 0 equals a plus 14d. Now to get rid of the a, I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to get negative 50 equals um, let's see, 25d. So my d is negative 2. And that's one answer. Now to find uh, a, I'm going to go ahead and use this equation. So I have 0 equals a plus 14 times negative 2. So 0 equals a minus 28. So 28 equals a. Now for my recursive, so that's that. My recursive formula is a sub n 
my current term is my previous term plus my d. So that's going to be minus 2. <coughs> and my nth term is a sub n equals a sub 1, which is what? What was my a? 28 plus n minus 1 times negative 2. And that's going to be a sub n equals 28 minus 2n plus 2. So a sub n is going to be negative 2n plus 30. All right, on the last one, we have the 14th term. is negative 1 and my 18th term is negative 9 so I have a sub 14 equals a minus I'm just going to go ahead and put 13 13 D which equals negative 1 and this one's going to be a sub 18 equals a plus 17d. I just subtracted 1 from the term. And this equals what? Negative 9. Okay, so we get um, a plus 17d equals negative 9 and a plus 13d equals negative 1. I'm going to subtract to eliminate the a. I get it 4d equals negative 8, so d equals negative 2. Now to find a, I'm going to plug back in to one of these. I don't think it matters much. I'll just go ahead and plug it into the second one. So I get a plus 13 times negative 2 equals negative 1. So a minus 26 equals negative 1. And if I add 26 to both sides, I get A is 25. Okay, so that's that. My recursive formula is just where you put A sub N, so your current term is your previous term plus your D, which is be minus 2. And my nth term is going to be my first term, my A. What is my A? 25 plus N minus 1 times negative 2. Clean this up a little bit. So we get a sub n equals 27 minus 2n or you can write it this way. Okay? And that's your four things you had to find. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.